and I honestly had no idea this this card existed. So this is like a uh, some kind of collaboration with all of all things. It's going to be Adidas. What's up guys, it's Awana Turtle and today we are going to talk about, uh, in my opinion, the most exciting card coming in the Unbroken Bond set. And yes, that means it's not the Reshi Ram Charizard, although I do think that the collector side of me will definitely want to get uh, many copies of that card. Uh, it'll probably be the most popular, but the one I'm most excited about is Muck in Alolan Muck. Uh, first off, when it comes to tag teams, which is a really exciting mechanic to begin with, uh, it never occurred to me to combine a Pokemon with its Alolan version. Like, that's just perfect. Um, I love the creativity there. So let's just go through the arts real quick. Uh, so this is one of those, um, one of those ones where the full art is kind of like where I, to rank them, I would start with the full art. Uh, and actually I put it very close with the Rainbow Rare, which is kind of strange but the reason being the full art's pretty good but then the rainbow rare I feel like it takes away a little bit from how there's muck and then Alolan muck given that Alolan muck itself is kind of like multicolored not rainbow but it's multicolored so you lose that effect in the rainbow rare uh, and then so then this is one where the base GX I do really like um, it just has a bunch of different colors to really uh, emphasize that the Alolan muck and the muck are very different and then once again the special full art uh, takes the top spot. Uh, this one's just perfect for, for Muck, where both of them are trying to like crawl out of this sewer uh, manhole, which I just, that is just perfect for them. All right, so for the card itself, so I do think that this card has a lot of potential. Uh, so it has 270 HP, so that's pretty good. Um, and then for its first attack, costs one Psychic and two Colorless Energy. And all it does is poison the enemy Pokemon. Uh, however, this time with this poison, it does 8 damage as opposed to just 1 in between turns. So that means uh, if the Pokemon, uh, so that means when it's opponent's turn, they'll take 80 damage. Uh, and if they remain active without switching, it does another 80 damage. And then by the time it's their turn again, we're at 240, so it's quite strong. Uh, but it, just a reminder that if you do switch your Pokemon, when your Pokemon goes to the bench, it loses all like negative effects. So the next attack, we got Poison Suck, which does 120, and with the added effect that if your opponent's Pokemon is poisoned, heal 100 damage from Muck, or the Mucks. <laughs> and lastly, we got Sticky Mix GX, uh, which says your opponent's active Pokemon, so this has cost no energy, uh, it says your opponent's active Pokemon is paralyzed and poisoned. And if you have four, at least four energy attached to it, uh, put 15 damage counters instead of one for the poison. So let's just eliminate the fact that you can use this for free. Basically, this thing costs four energy and you have a super strong poison that does 150. Um, so I do think that this card is really strong. Again, like, yes, if your opponent retreats, um, it removes any poison. But like at this point, you force your opponent to have to retreat. Otherwise, that thing is definitely going to get knocked out because if you start with severe poison, uh, basically the next turn when you use poison suck, like, nothing will be able to survive that so that's like 160 plus another 120 there's i'm not aware of a card that will survive that um and then especially if you sticky mix even more so like if you're paralyzed unless you use a trainer card to retreat um then that thing's definitely knocked out and like they won't do anything on their turn it'll come back to your turn they have to put another one in the active and you can you can severe poison again so i feel like this card's just so strong and then when it comes to like all right so the, the main weakness is probably that, oh, I can just retreat and the poison is gone. Well, let's remember something that came up in the team up set, uh, Kabutops. Um, oh no, it's Amistar, which basically says as long as Amistar's out, like, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't even have to be active, your opponent cannot use trainer cards. So uh, for Sticky Mix, you can't retreat no matter what, unless you can somehow get rid of them. Or maybe if you use um, like Guzma or something. Um, and if you're worried about the supporters, maybe instead of Amistar using Kabutops to prevent supporters. Uh, but I do feel like Muck Alolan Muck combined with Amistar is just very strong. You get rid of like the, the switches and stuff like that. Um, the float stones or they can't touch the float stones anymore. Uh, so it prevents, you know, 
it makes it very hard to avoid the poison, which is just so strong. Uh, so that's my quick review of Muck and Alolan Muck. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you feel like this card is viable. Um, I'm definitely not, like, uh, don't follow the meta super close, but I do think this one has like a huge amount of potential, more so than any of the cards we've looked at so far. Alright, for this next part of the video, we're going to do some mail day stuff. We have to start, we're, and we're going to talk about some eBay stuff as well. So the first card that we're going to talk about is a Pancho Pikachu, and this is the Charizard variety. Um, this is a very cool card, I got it at a very good price, and then this is one of those situations where I wasn't paying close enough attention uh, and the eBay listing did show that the card was damaged on the back so I thought I got a really good deal but this was just me kind of uh, rushing and jumping the gun so do your due diligence make sure anything you do purchase is in good condition next set of cards is something we've seen many times before at this point on this channel and it is the scream cards we got the Three uh, basic ones is uh, Eevee, Psyduck, and Rowlet. And then we got a couple more Pikachus. So one thing to look at, a couple people asked me, like, how do you get the Pikachus so cheap where they see it mostly at in the 30s? Uh, so these ones I got in the, uh, I think, mid-20s. And one thing to look out for is sometimes when people put multiple things for auction, um, basically they all end at the same time. And so, like, if there's a single one ending at a certain time, maybe that one will go for, like, low 30s. Uh, however, when there's, like, three of them at once, I think you have a better chance of snagging it at a much cheaper price. So it's just such something to keep an eye out for. Next we have another, uh, kind of like a Pancho, it's like a costume Pikachu, Pancho Pikachu. Um, this one is not the same as the other ones where I'm not aware of there being a full art Rowlet one. Uh, but I thought this card was just really cute and it was quite uh, inexpensive, so I did get two copies of it. And yeah, I've just been loving all these different Japanese promos. I feel like I just find new ones like every day. And this one I find just hilarious. It's just like Pikachu chilling in a submarine. For some reason, I'm not sure what set this came from, um, but I just thought that was hilarious. Alright, so then the the last one we're going to show off is a PSA graded and it's PSA 10, which is awesome. And I honestly had no idea this, this card existed. So this is like a uh, some kind of collaboration with all of all things. It's going to be Adidas. So Pokemon Japan in Japan, Pokemon did a collaboration with Adidas and came up with this card um, and I thought I just thought it was so hilarious and like I had no idea this thing existed so it's a Pikachu playing soccer uh, and has like the Adidas logo right on the card so uh, yep just as another thing I acquired really recently as far as Japanese promos and one funny thing is that when you order a lot of cards from Japan uh, People in Japan are very friendly and they just send like little random things like little stickers and I got a couple like little origamis that I found even more hilarious. Had an origami, a little note, and it came with a green tea. <laughs> uh, so the last thing I want to show you guys is I can't believe I forgot to actually I was, I was planning on it but for some reason it escaped my mind uh, when I did the uh, Rocket PSA set. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Um, it's a PSA 9 collection first edition of the entire All the Rocket Hollows. And the thing I forgot to show you guys was this. This is a original uh, Rocket set booster box. So it has 36 packs and this is box is in very con good condition. I think this uh, right here is the only like any form of damage on that all the corners are very clean. Um, this is not first edition, so this one is unlimited, um, but this is just really happy uh, to have this. this. is definitely a very prized part of my collection. Uh, so there you guys have it. Go uh, there you guys have it. Uh, we did a bunch of different stuff today. We did went over my favorite card in Unbroken Bonds, um, the Muck Alolan Muck. Went through some of our new acquisitions, especially in Japanese promos for Mail Day, and showed off one of my prized collections. Um, one of, the, one of my most prized pieces of my collection. Uh, so if you did enjoy the content and you want to support the channel, please hit that like button. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are and uh, what you think about Muck or what is your favorite card that you're looking forward to the most from Unbroken Bonds. Um, and thanks for watching, guys. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.